Hi you guys, which Rivals of them. This is the FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Series, and today uh, we're going through our weekly objectives. So let's have a quick look and see what we've actually got to contend with. Um, a lot of them are kit based. They have had a quick check. We're going to mostly focus on the weekly ones. So you've got to uh, you've got to get five goals. Use an FC Bayern Munich player to get their fourth kit. Same with Juventus, Man United, and Real Madrid. So you've got to have a, one of their players scoring five goals. Basically, it's twenty goals there. So a lot of goals you've got to score, aren't they? Um, a Norwegian to get uh, needs to be scored in three separate matches. Okay, uh, to win the player of year, Andre Hansen, who is a goalkeeper, must have had a great season then. If he's a uh, player of season, a goalkeeper. Okay, uh, three friendlies gets you the rainbow kit uh, badge. The Merseyside derby needs to go two Everton players in two separate online single matches to win a two players pack. So it's not rare players, is it? So for Champions Cup, so you need to win five rivals matches by two goals this week in the premium gold pack. So foot champs, it's saying foot champs, but then it's saying rivals, so that, that, that's a bit confusing. Um, I think it, it must be foot champs, just for scoring foot champs. Let's have a look at daily objectives. Anything else in here? So you got to play AI to get that one. Win by at least two goals today. Eight hours left to do that one. Apply a consumable, it's fairly easy. Score for Spain, I think we'll do that one because we've got a few Spanish players, haven't we? Have we? Alonso? No, we haven't really, have we? We've got Alonso. Anarchy Williams, possibly. I don't know what you get for it, though. Score finesse, um, a shot with a midfielder. I mean, we probably will achieve that one. So let's have a look at the players we've got, then, in terms of achieving these outcomes. Let's have a quick look. So let's first start with a Norwegian. Okay. Um, let's get over here. So the Norwegian, we'll go, we've got two options, really. Um, we've got Kamara or King. I think it's going to be King, though. So we're looking at strikers. It's not overall that bad, and we could actually start him in our team if we really want to. He's got the pace, hasn't he? And his finishing ain't overly too bad. His strength's not too bad. It's just not really... It's not there for heading, is it? Uh, what else have we got then? So what else do we need to look at? An Everton player. Okay, let's have a look at Everton player. So League, Premier League, Everton. Here we go. So we're going to look at Tosun. Tosun. How have you pronounced it? It's Turkish. Not bad, it looks like he's probably quite tall. His heading's 84, so 64, so it's not massive, is it? But it's quite a good way heading. He's got strength. Not overly pacey, is it? But it's, it's, not, the, it's not sluggish. Um, his shooting's not too bad either, so he'll probably do a job for us. In terms of who we've got for Man United, because that's going to be one of them, isn't it? Where they've got to score five goals. So I think we've got a few. Sanchez is in there. Sanchez is probably going to be the one that does it well. We'll play the, the foot champs, to be honest. Um, let's have a look at what else we're going with. <clears throat> Syria, ah, so it's Juventus. We know exactly who's going to be this. It's Manskovic. We we have him. He's in our first team starting lineup, so it's probably in foot champs he's going to be scoring. Bundesliga for Bayern Munich. Here we go. It's going to be Wagner. We've got Lewandowski, but only for one game, so it's got five goals. It, it's probably not going to happen in one game, is it? Although he has done it in real life. Um, so, I mean, the player is six foot four. It's always an aerial threat, so it's probably going to be one of them just to stick up and whip the crosses in. So it's probably more suitable for the Italian team, I'd say. Um, and then we've also got the Spanish team. I've just passed it on. There we go. Real Madrid. Isco really is the only one we've really, really got, to be honest. I'll have a quick look at him. So, I mean, he's more of a midfielder. Play by a striker. Maybe just stick him as a striker as a substitute, quite possibly. We'll see as it goes on anyway. Right, guys, so I'm going to leave it here. We'll, uh, we'll get the highlights as things are going on and just see how we progress with it. We're going to first um, have a look at how we achieved the Everton goal, the objective for that one. Then we'll look at the Norwegian. And then we'll have a look at the Real Madrid and then over to Germany. I mean, the rest are fairly straightforward. The um, the Juventus one, man, we've got Manskovic. He's just been scoring in, in uh, Fort Champs Weekend League. So just go out and check out the highlights from that if you want to see them goals. Same with Sanchez as well. Um, he's been doing it in Weekend League. Go and check them out. Um, so I've not got the highlights for them too, but the rest I've got them. So I, th I think what we'll do is have a quick look. Let's see how we, we do it. So we'll, actually, we'll look at the Everton first then, guys. So here we go. It's a tackle from right hand side. We're sort of like just adjusted the um, Italian team here. Just like Tussin in. And there you go. It's a nice little finish from in, in, into, into top corner. Rock volley. Um, and that's the first goal. And I have to score in two separate games, don't you? So this is the second game. Um, done well to attack up on wing uh, through centre there, beats the uh, defender and just puts it into a save from goalkeeper. Uh, now we've got another opportunity here then. King were looking for a ball but he couldn't get, get it back but he found his way to toss him. He's had the strike, he's ricocheted off the defender and he's finished it su superbly into top corner. So that's that achievement done, so on to the next achievement. So this is where we need the Norwegian, this is where we've got King. 
So we're sliding, on, uh, sliding into the Italian team here then. Finds a little bit of space there. See on turn, he's put it in. It's a nice finish. 17 minutes into that game, he gets his first goal. And I think he has to score in... I think he has to score three goals, do not he? So it's another game up here now. He's found himself in a little bit of space. He's, he's held the defender off really well there. And he's slotted into the bottom corner. He's stuck it exceptionally well. And we'll finish it off here uh, with, uh, with a penalty kick, guys. So penalty kicks have not been going well for us. So it may not go in, it may go in, but he does, he took it away. That's his three goals, and that's the objective um, achieved for the Norwegians. So we've got the, is it the player of the, se player of the season, I think it is. Um, so now we're on to Real Madrid one. We've got Mariano here. We actually bought him in rather than going for a risk because he's a striker. He's told that one very, very well. Yeah, I just thought it, it would be better to go with your striker than go with Isco. I, th I think we'd have struggled a bit more with Isco. We wouldn't have been as naturally um, naturally able to finish the ball as um, Mariano was. He's got himself in a little bit of space here. He's managed to get the shot off. He runs a lot of pressure by defender, but he couldn't finish it well. It wasn't a great shot in the in fairness in the end. And we've got storage here. Plays out left hand side. Finds like to Sanchez. Playing out right now to Salah. And that's ooh, there he is, Mariano. Can't connect really well with it though. So that's uh, the letdown in that one. He gets tackled there. But Salah managed to get onto the ball. Let's place it over to Mariano. Can he finish it off? He's just put it wide. He's having plenty of opportunities, but he's just not taking them at the moment, guys. He's back through into century. It's a nice little one-two. Back to him. Oh, and it's a great save. I mean, there's three chances there. He could have had three goals, guys. That could have been three of the five goals. Now we've got an attack again. He's played out to storage. He's bypassed him, but he somehow got back to him through one-on-one, -on -one, and he's put his straight at keeper. Four great opportunities. He could have had four in this game alone. Oh, Mariano finds himself on ball. Somehow, it charges through, and he could have had his fifth there, and he's put it onto the post. It's not going well for Mariano, is it? It's another opportunity here. He plays one, two with... Stu no, he doesn't. He plays in storage. Plays it out left. Comes back instead to Mariano. Gets head on it. And Laurie just picks it up nice and easily. Now to another attack here. Then Deli Alley. Look at left-hand side. It must be Alexis Sanchez. That it is. He's got Mariano in centre. He's got to finish this now, and he has... It's the first time in, what, seven attempts he's finished? So, seven attempts, he finally took it away. Maybe Isco would have been the better option. Here you are. Is he going for one, two? No. Over to Storage. Heads it down to Mariano. He pulls it away nicely, but he's offside. Looking a bit more promising, though, he's finishing. Deli Alley plays it over to Sanchez. Mariano, what's he going to do? He finds himself in a fortuitous position there. And he puts it away. He tucks it away nicely into the left hand side of net. Left footed finish. I'm not sure if it's left footed actually. But he's took that really well. Um, so Deli Ali plays it up to Sala. Finds Mariano. It's going out left hand side to Alexis Sanchez. Mariano, great space. And he's tucked it away. Beautifully there. It's a nice little fin uh, finish on turn. And that's three goals now for him. He needs another two. Mariano's in a bit, bit of position here. Plays to storage. Oh, it's saved. He's come back. Salah's got the ball there. We place it back to Mariano. He's put it straight at the keeper. Just need to put it to the left hand side of goal. And it would have been in there, without a doubt. Look for Mariano on corner. He's a small lad. But he gets to it and he finishes it off. There you go, guys. That's his fourth goal, I believe, is it? Oh, no, that was fifth, sorry. Um, so, Kagawa. This is a bit of a German team that we're playing with here. We're playing with Wagner. We've set this team up, a uh, German team up specifically to, to accommodate him. He uh, missed that opportunity there, though. It's a little bit tricky here. Bailey finds, tries to find Wagner, but he can't get his head on it. Not an attack here. He's, Wagner's in the centre here. He needs to be taking this chance if he gets to him. Takes a touch. Why is he taking a touch? I don't know. I couldn't explain it myself. He was supposed to shoot it. I think we're having a bit of a button lag, to be honest. And that's why he couldn't get the shots off. Wagner with 1-2. Nice little touch. And slots it into corner. There you go. He gets his first goal. So that's the uh, Bayern Munich player, then. Um... We've got another chance here. Well, now we've slotted him into the Italian team instead. Wagner's through into space. And it's a great save by Oblak. So it's up against a good uh, good goalkeeper here. Cellini finds the ball to Quadrado. Put it into centre to Wagner. And he's, he's hit it off the post and then off the keeper. And it's out for a corner. But Douglas Costa's charging on the left-hand side now. Tucks inside. Finds man in centre. Quadrado to Wagner. He's put it wide. Just wide. He should be finishing that one off. Uh, Niangalan plays it through. Look at Manny's centre. It's Wagner there. Can he finish it? He has to. No, he has not done, actually. He should have. He's, it's a bit of a Mariano repeat here, isn't it? Oh, it's played through nicely, and he's tried to finish shot into corner. Keeps made a good save. Savage. Over to Wagner. This could be an opportunity for him here. Nice little touch there. Turns inside, and he drills it into top corner. That's what we've been looking for, isn't it? That's what we've been wanting to do. Um, it's after his third goal here, then, so... 
It's an angle on the right hand side. It's getting about a bit an angle on, isn't it? Up to centre. Wagner there finishes it off. Now, at this point, I realised he got Lewandowski um, as a loanee for one game, so I thought I'd put him in. See if we can get two goals in one game. Let's see how it goes. Douglas Costa crosses it in, and there he is, Lewandowski, within 10 minutes of his first game, gets on the score sheet. It's looking promising. You're expecting him to score, aren't you, really, in all honesty here? Yeah. Matuidi plays through to centre to Savage, out to Douglas Costa, over top to Lewandowski. Header, and it's good save by Edison there. Douglas Costa plays through to centre, finds the angle line, it's got Savage there, he's got man in centre, but he goes out left to Douglas Costa. 1-2 there, creates a little bit of space, back into the centre, Douglas Costa back out on left. Can it be a repeat of the first goal? Lewandowski's there, gets his head to it, and that's it. It's been achieved, guys. That's what we've achieved, so there you go, guys. So that's all the achievements we've got then today there. Now what we'll do is we'll go over to the pack opening, so let's see how we did. So on to the interesting part now then, guys. We're going to do the openings, the rewards. Let's see what we're packed then. Uh, we'll just get these ones out of the way. These, the daily objectives, there's probably not going to be much from a miss there. There you go, Marksman. No, we don't need to quick sell what we're doing. I always press the wrong button on that one. All right, buy an attacker. I don't know what this is going to be. Something to sniper. There you go. So nothing special. Play division rivals. We turned up. We played it. Probably another. I you know it's a precision modifier this time. Okay, fantastic. Right, so on to weekly objectives. So we've got the buying buy Munich kit, so we'll claim this reward. Send that one back. Um, Juventus one. There we go. It's a bit uh, it's like an oil coloured effect into that one. It's quite nice, actually. And on to the Manchester United one. Now this one I thought were a piss take. It's actually a real one, isn't it, to be honest. I'm not sure about the leopard screen, uh, skin print though, but we'll put it in. They play with it, may have a go with it, we'll see what it's like. Real Madrid, now this one's quite nice. And to be honest, this is something I'd see Arsenal wearing, to be honest, more than anything, but. Real Madrid, so what else have we got here then? So that's the untradeable one. Right, the pack. So we'll get this player, we'll just get this guy out of the way, eh? Um, I, I, I don't know what his stats are like actually. He's a goalkeeper, stats, nothing spectacular either. His reflex are 86, not too bad. His handling and kicking could be a little bit better, but I mean, what do you expect for an 80 rate player? He goes from there, it's probably one for SBCs in the future. Um, well, have a look at these, let's see what we can claim for these then. I wonder if it's going to be Premier League players, I'm not really sure. I'll just open it now, eh? Is it going to be something special? We're going to have a little bit of luck. Some people get luck in these, but I don't like it. There's no grey writing. It's, it's box standard, guys. Is it, uh, oh, it's Rudiger, isn't it? Uh, nothing special at all. Probably not even beneficial for SBCs, because 81, you really want at least an 82, don't you, for SBCs. So, on to the last one then. There's another pack, into that we can get on this one. Right. A premium gold pack, so this is probably going to be quite terrible again, I imagine. We don't tend to have much luck with these ones, do we? Yeah, standard. Bug standard again. Not even a black card. Oh, God's sake, right, that's terrible. 76 rated, guys. Not well worth the effort, won't it? That's, um, I think that's it then, isn't it? That's, that's all we've got. Hang on, what we've got here then? Nothing spectacular whatsoever. We've got these duplicates. Well. Switch them around. We, what we've got at the club and see if we can just quick sell them then. There's no point holding on to any of them, is there? There we go, just a little bit. Nothing much. 56 coins. There you go. That's up to our 342,000. I think that's the last one then, guys. It is. So that's it. We've achieved it with the exception of the three friendlies, which we ain't got any connections to do that way anyway so but we we hit the rest of them so i mean the rewards weren't really that exciting were they considering what they were but i mean it was an interesting journey so that's gonna be it for today's episode so i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed it smash that like button show some support comments questions stick them in comment sections let me know how you guys got on let me know if you've got better rewards let me know if it's actually possible to get good rewards from these if you're new to the channel subscribe to this regular daily content coming out and i'll see you next episode thanks for watching guys